right here what I got is the Savage Gear Line Through Red Horse Sucker. Now this is an awesome lure. It looks great and swims great, but the hooks it came with in the wire just weren't big enough for me. Cause I'm after big stripers. So what I did is changed it out. Got me an owner, three times strong, one aught hook in there. About eight to ten inches of 80 pound monofilament. Went and tied straight to the hook with a good polymer. Go ahead and use whatever favorite knot you like. And, but I crimped it off right there, making a loop. Of course, you can use a loop knot if you like. But that's what I did. Now it's bumped up and ready for a big striper. Time to get it wet. All right, just tossing out the Savage Gear Red Horse Sucker line through version and uh, let's check out the action on it. Okay, it's coming up. There we go. Wow, looks great. Okay, let's see if we can put it in front of a hungry bass. First cast. Wait, second cast. Okay, well, looks like I gotta get the net ready. I'm gonna scoop this guy up. No. Still fighting this nice strike. Oh, not quite. <laughs> nice. There we go. Yeah, baby. Got it in. Look at that fish. Awesome. Right there, hooked up in the corner, bottom of the lip, that owner. Okay, let's get him in, check it out. Alright, there's the fish, got her undone. Beautiful striper right there. Got it on what? The Savage Gear Red Horse Sucker. Line through. Yeah, it is. Okay, time to release back. it. Time to let her go. She's kicking. Good sign. Give her a minute. Yeah, she wants to go. Okay, goodbye. There she goes. Awesome. Okay, that was my first striper on the line through. Pretty impressed. Like I said, John did change out the hardware on it. So if you buy the lure and you're after stripers, change out the hardware. Otherwise, it's fine just the way it is. So I'll be back with another one.